Yo, what's up guys? AFC Adino here and welcome to a new video. Um, I actually messed up uh, in, a pre in a recording because I, I noticed that I had my mic muted uh, at the beginning. So that's why I'm redoing the intro. But as you guys can see on screen, I have a hidden ability Nido King sitting here. Uh, you can you can see the hidden ability attribute and yeah uh, you guys have been asking for it a lot uh for me to use the needle king uh, in a previous stream we did breed two needle kings and i'm gonna be using one of them today it's gonna be substitute three attacks and yeah i'm really excited i was really excited when using it obviously yeah doing the answer now afterwards but yeah if you guys are excited as well make sure to hit that like button especially if you'd like to see more make sure to subscribe uh dislike the video if you don't like this stuff it's up to you and yeah the poker base of this team is going to be on patreon as well we're going to be using the assault gear assault vest mian Chao as well on this team uh some of you guys wanted to see that item too so a bunch of new stuff hidden ability crowbat as well so I hope you guys are excited. Get some popcorn and just enjoy the show, guys. I am uh, going to skip right ahead into the battle because uh, obviously um, the battle has already been played. Uh, but yeah, I'll skip to the part where you can see the live commentary. So have fun and I see you guys next time. Okay. okay. No. It works again. Um, now nah, I will edit the part earlier. But it seems like we're playing against the Sun team. Uh, Nido King can actually be really good this game if I can get it in against Torkoal. Um, he might be leading off with his guard top though. So, gotta be a bit careful there. I'm gonna lead off with my Mian Chao. Uh, looks like a pretty cool choice. He leads off with his Darm. I do. <laughs> I kind of, I kind of want to um, U-turn here because I have a Hippowden, I have a Rotom. He's an Ace Trainer though. I'm an Ace Trainer too. But if he clicks Fair Blitz, that's kind of insane, considering I have a Rotom here. Oh, what else? And he might also be afraid of the fake out. I'm gonna knock off here. If he clicks Flare Blitz, so be it. I at least get to see if he's Scarfed. But he, sh he might be fearing fake out as well. Which I can definitely run. And if he goes into Toroko and I knock off his item. Yeah, exactly. So we now we know he's Scarfed. Now we know he's Scarfed. And what he's going to bring into me. Because does he want to switch into a close combat? So Toroko makes a bit of sense. But if I if I knock off his... Um, if I knock off his uh, Heat Rock... Then he will only have some turns for 5 turns uh, every time it comes in. I can always remove it with Hip Out in 2. But uh, this knockoff seems pretty decent. And my opponent decides to bring in the Rodom. So I get to knock him off. Awesome. Get rid of his leftovers too. I kind of want to close commit this. Should I do it? I will. Guys, this is... Ooh, we get a crit too. And we will definitely lift the Volt Switch with our, with our item. So I get the close combat damage off and now he's... Every time Nido King comes in, it's basically a free kill. So uh, I re would really like to get Nido King in, in against the Torkoal because he's most likely going to swap out if I am able to do it. And yeah, the only thing on his team that outspeeds me is Darmanitan and Infernape. I'm not sure what kind of Infernape we're facing here. Um, but considering he has a Venusaur, well, it can still be mixed ape. It can still be mixed ape. So I'd rather not stay here. I don't want to keep Rotom to um, really depends on what he does. I'm gonna bring in my bro bed there. As he goes for overheat, I'm definitely gonna die to this. 
Oh, hold up. Is he not life orb? I guess we are just that tanky, huh? That's cool. I'll be able to get up my roost there. Awesome. I didn't expect uh, the bulkiness on this uh, crowbat, but uh, it works out for us. So I get off my roost there, and I'm gonna taunt this guy. We don't want him to get up rocks there, because I could obviously bring in my Rodon, but if he, it's a free invitation to Venusaur. Hold up! I didn't change the ability on my <laughs> Miecha, fuck! It's not Regenerator! I, I, I'm looking at my HP. And I didn't proc re- Oh my god, are you serious? That's so insane. I'm gonna toxic this guy. Because if he brings in Venusaur, we'll be fine. I'm gonna use me and Shao as a sec now. Because <laughs> Damn, man! Yeah, it's a new Mian Chao, and uh, I forgot to change the ability. I was EP training it and, and such. <laughs> but yeah, I click Toxic here. If he goes Phoenix, it doesn't matter because I just Bread Bird him next. He can only click Lava Plume, which can obviously burn me. But I will be stalling out rain, uh, Sun Turns. He withdraws, Darmanitan comes in. And we know it's Scarf Darm, so I can get him a hip out in there. And he should not be able to 2-hit KO me. Uh, I thought his name was Dino the Goat, but it's Dino the Goat. <laughs> but yeah, we know he's Scarf. Like, we established it already with our Mian Shao. And if he clicks Flare Blitz, awesome, he cannot 2-hit KO me. And I'm just gonna slack off because we know he's locked. If Rodom comes in, it's fine. I'm just gonna sack me and Shao. Because at this point, yeah. <laughs> Without regenerator, he's kind of useless. Okay. So. He might be going for a rock, Sam. Gonna eat. I'm just gonna earthquake her. If Venusaur comes in, I get damage. I get damage on this as well. And I'm gonna set up my rocks. He might go into his Venusaur. Like I said, I'm gonna sec me and Shao. But that's Oracle. I only have to remove Sun once. Venusaur. And I definitely keep my keep this alive. And what I'll do is he might go for the um, for the growth there. That's fine. And because because that Torkoal is as good as dead now, I might not be needing Needle King. Because Nido King is slower than Garchomp, Infernape, and Darmanitan. And he's not gonna survive a hit from them. He does indeed go for growth. Yeah, like I said, this Pokemon is complete, <laughs> completely useless now. So uh, there's no point in keeping him. As for a Weather Ball. Yeah, pretty interesting. So I get in my Hippowden now. Remove. Remove this. And... Oh. So... Crobat outspeeds the majority of them. I'm actually... Yeah, I'm gonna go into Needle King. If he clicks Water Ball, um, it's... It's resisted. And I should be faster. So I can go for the pretty free Ice Beam. 
Look how much HP do we have. Because I might want to sub here. Because maybe he's going to sec historical to get up the sun again. And then I can preserve a sec. It doesn't matter if I have 32.5 HP or 1 HP. He should know I'm faster. <clears throat> exactly. And he sacks Rotom, so I get a free kill while staying behind my sub. Like I said, guys. Um, I could have gone for the Sludge... For the Sludge Wave there or Ice Beam. Which would have been fine as well. Uh, but nah. We're just gonna Ice Beam here. It kills him, but in case he goes Guard Jump here. Kill him. And yeah, I'm behind the sub, so... Awesome for me. Rotom is gone. So now I don't I really don't need Nidoking at this point. He decides to go Garchomp. Oh no. He's gonna dodge my attack. He's gonna dodge my attack. No! Please hit! Oh okay, good shit. So he for some reason he gave me the Garchomp. Cool. Like yeah, he needed to break my sub, but he could have gone Dermaniton. He could have just gone Dermaniton. Yeah, there's, there's really no point in keeping this mod, so <laughs> I'm just going to stay in. He's life whipped as well. Nidoking uh, picking up two kills there. Goes for Hidden Power Rise. And I think we just bring in the Crobat now. My brave bear. And I can just go straight into hip out and when uh Turco comes in so he doesn't get the sun. <laughs> yeah. So the trick is basically not to kill him here. Because then we can get most value from this. And if he rapid spins, he's gonna die to Rocky Helmet. Yeah. So my stealth work will stay up. And Venusaur doesn't have his sun up. He goes to Armanitan instead of Venusaur, so that's already really cool for us. And my opponent decides to forfeit. We win our first game with the Needle King. Uh, so yeah, the intro got a bit messed up, guys, um, because something was wrong with my voice settings. Uh, but yeah, um, like I said, guys, Nido King. Um, the reason I could have just said that, that substitute play was just so huge. Like I said, I could have picked up one kill, but like I said, he could have sacked Oracle, got in Venusaur again, and now with the sub. Because worst case scenario, I click sub and he attacks me, and I'll. I'll still at I still claim a kill in the, the, the turn afterwards. So in that sense, um, I think that was a really cool play. Uh, so definitely give me some thumbs up for that Nido King play right there. <laughs> this guy is such a monster, man. Um, wasn't able to get it in through you to Norval Switch. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna pause the video and we'll be right back. Uh, okay, guys, we're back. Um, I changed the ability on the Mian Xiao, so now we do have the Regenerator. <laughs> oh, but I didn't enter Q! Oh, I'm so bad, guys. Be right back. Okay, five seconds. Uh, we did enter Q this time. <laughs> uh, like, I... What? Oh, I just played him. Oh shit, <laughs> I will copy this. Ah, this guy, <laughs> he gave me 100k. Hey, much love, brother. Much love. Hope you enjoy watching the video if, if you watch this back. But now, we first we played versus Sun. Now we play versus Rain. I really want, well, it's a strange Rain team though. I really would like to lead up with the Needle King though. Um, but if he leads Garchomp or if he leads anything else with Pelipper or Conkeldor, I am kind of screwed. 
So what I'll do is I'm going to lead with my me and Xiao. As he leads the arm. Ghost ban. Okay. That's an interesting uh, team. Like I do have a Hippowden. I do have a Rotom. Um, I don't expect him to, again, once again, click uh, the gonna U turn there. Oh, nice! Nice! <laughs> Like I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't need the assault vest necessary, but now he he's not choice scarf. and I can get this guy and click Brave Bird on him. I don't think I will kill him though, but this this guy is a threat. Oh, this might not even kill me. Let's see. Oh, it does. That's fine. How much did I do with U turn? Okay, it's not wasn't to kill. I get in this guy again. I think I'm just gonna rock slide there. Kinda sucks though that I lost Crobat in that scenario, but I get the damage off here. That's some nice chip. Nice chip. He might be U-turning here. Do I just rock slide again? I might flinch him. Because if I if I flinch him, that would be cool. Oh, I crit him. And I get the flinch. Let's go. I think we just... Uh, do I just raw CC here? Maybe not, though. Oh, I'm choice scarfed. I forgot I'm choice scarfed. <laughs> but... If he goes straight into superior, that would suck though. Yeah, losing Frobot in that sense is kind of kind of bad, but I did weaken the Darm. There's no way he should allow this to die, right? There should be no way, because then he loses his reign. I think he's gonna bring in Serp. Gonna double into the the Weavile. I, I assume he knows what he's doing. Oh, he just went straight into that, huh? Okay, that's insane. I felt like superior was uh, the superior option, but uh, whatever. Gotta bring in this guy. Kinda wanna bump uh jump. That surf did nothing. Makes me wonder if this is this might not be specs. Oh, that's fine. Gonna get damage on this. It's still a hydro pump in the rain. It's gonna be sound chip. Oh, Ain't split here. Okay. Well, if I kill this, then his whole speed control against my Weavile is gone. So I'm gonna Volt there. As he decides to stay. bring in hip out in there and what I'll do is I'm gonna double into me and here I shouldn't die there's no way he specs and he does indeed bring in developer meaning that now I get to click close combat King's Rat's gonna come in again. Mm. He's just gonna click Surf anyway. Okay. So if I sec, I need him out. I absolutely need him. 
Needle King, which is the Kelder, I guess. Yeah, I think Rotom is my. Uh... It does allow Garchomp to click Earthquake on my team, but I do have Hippowden. Again, we're making the same play. I'm gonna go hip out in. Then I'm gonna double into Mian Shao. As I know Mian Shao shouldn't die from a specsless uh, Kingdra. Especially not in rain. And I can U turn for free air. And yeah, I'm only keeping the Needle King so I can get a big hit off on Conkelder. Uh, so I can get a big hit up against Superior as well. Superior cannot knock me out from full. And their Manitin should be pretty much gone. Um, but the thing is, if I go Needle King, Garchomp comes in. If I go Weavile, Conkelder comes in. Then I have to go into Hip Out and. I guess that makes sense. Because I think Garchomp is a stealth rocker. So we'll just go into uh, Weavile here. Maybe an alternative play was to just close combat there. I think that would have been a better play actually. But we'll see. Like he has to go Conkelder. Darmanitan isn't Scarfed anymore. So an insane play would be if he doubles right now. Into Superior, but I'm gonna sec my Mian Shao if he does. And he reveals bulk, bulk up. And that's Flame Orb. Um, I do need this though. Do I stealth? Do I stealth rock so Dark Manitan dies? I have Sludge Wave Needle King in the back to hit this with. I'm faster as well. So what I'll do is. Gonna slack off here. I think we just sack uh, Mian Chao. That way I keep my uh, Hip Auden for the Garchomp. It's gonna slack off here. He's gonna bulk up again and then I'm gonna sack uh, Mian Chao, I think. Oh, never mind. Let me actually call this. If I if Needle King, uh, there's no way Needle King actually lives that. Uh, Needle King. I need to know how much damage he does to Conkelder. It's more than eighty percent. So what I'll do is I'll. He's using Drain Punch. It's a plus one Drain Punch. How much is that doing? Mark Punch is actually a kill on me. I'm gonna go me and Shao now. Sack him. Needle King. The Sludge Wave. Mm, I will probably lose this, but we'll see. Hmm. 
Okay, he needs the mark punch. I'm gonna bring in Hip Bowden. I actually need him to kill me. I need him to kill me here. Um, actually, I don't. I, I'll just click Roar and Superior so he cannot be behind the sub. Or he decides to go guard jump anyway. Okay. So he went for rocks. I'm gonna sack Needle King now. Oh, he's mixed. So, I basically need to hit two Icicle Spares, uh, Icicle Crashes. That's what it's what it comes down to. Weavile versus... I need to know how much my Ice Shark does though. 63. So that's not gonna be enough. Okay, when did I get a mint? So... Earthquake, Draco, Stealth Rock. I need to click. I'm gonna sack this. It comes down to me connecting Icicle cr Crashes anyway. I prefer not to kill him, I think. I'm gonna click Stealth Rock. I prefer not to kill him. Because I have to prevent Superior from getting into... Um, I have to prevent Superior from getting behind the sub. If it's Scarf, Serp, then uh, so be it. Uh, but yeah, I have to hit two Icicle Crashes to win. Because Darmanitan is gonna die. So if I if I miss, I lose, but uh, so be it. I chose to... I chose to go for this move. And we connect and we s now we win. Really cool. So yeah, like I said, Nido King was really important in checking that Conkel there. We saw how much we did to the to the Conkeldar. Because that Conkeldar was an issue, man. <laughs> Especially with, with the Flame or Bulk upset, uh, being able to outdamage my hip out and uh, we, we were able to pull through. And yeah, I think I could have played better with my Crobat, but on, on the other hand, if my if the Darmanitan decided to U-turn on my Crobat, uh while I went while, while I switched into Hip Bowden, I would have been really behind because he, he he will get up rain he could have gotten in the king drum but yeah it worked out really well for us how we played this game i don't have any regrets um him clicking trick on my amiensha turn one was kind of interesting though because <laughs> uh that was annoying but uh me getting the the crit flinch on the pelipper was obviously huge too but yeah, I, I wanted to rock slide damage up anyway, and I didn't really need the crit, I just needed to get the flinch there. And he was most likely gonna U-turn anyway. It was very unlikely that he would go for a roost there. 
I mean, he could, he could. But him roosting gives me a free switch as well. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, we showed a bit of Needle King's power, like in the first game. Sub, sub it, using substitute on a Phoenix or expecting him to switch out. And then claiming two kills. Two kills uh, before dying. Uh, here, getting the huge Lich Wave damage up because uh, my Crobat was gone. Uh, my Rot Rotom was gone. And uh, my, yeah, my Weaver was actually going to die. My Mianxiao couldn't touch. The, the Conkeldus, I really needed the Sludge Wave damage from the Needle King, which we got in the end. So, really glad he was there for us. And yeah, if you guys are interested in this team, there will be a poker based on Patreon with a short team building guide uh, on this team. Basically giving you guys my thoughts on um, my thought process while building this team. And yeah, um, don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed this video. Dislike it if you didn't like it. And yeah, uh, leave a comment down below if you have any questions. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, we are on our way to 3.5k uh, subscribers before the end of the year. I think we can get it. And join our Discord server as well. It's getting really lively there. And yeah, people talking every day, discussing this game. And it's a cool place for you to be as well. And with that all being said, I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope to see you in the next video. Peace out.